just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Oh, shit! Welcome to another mail call. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I have a lot of stuff. And uh, some of this is essential to the video I'm doing, this video series I'm doing now. Others is a series coming up, but usually I would do this individually, but you know, off camera, but there's so much stuff. And I dedicate this video, by the way, to Handheld Obsession, who on social media was literally sitting there bitching and complaining about, oh, well, I don't like people who unbox stuff. Yes, we get it. You're opening a box. Then when I called them out on it, because I did do that with the analog duo. Now I'm going to do it here, but this time I'm actually aware I'm doing it. Um, he said, oh, we tried to back off a little bit and say, oh, well, that's because you talked during yours, so I don't mind so bad. And I already opened this up because I was in the middle of filming and I had a, a wild raccoon walk through this kitchen, so I got to do this again. But anyway, first up is this 16 gig, um, adapt the 16 gig micro SD, and this is essential for another product that I'm about to unbox coming up. I'm sure you can figure out what it's about, but there's a reason I only got 16 gigs because that's plenty of space for what's coming up. And we got another one. And by the way, hate how a lot of times you buy SD cards, they just come in these packages without tracking. Put, tr I, I get it. It's a few bucks to send it out, but it's, when I'm ch when I'm being charged like 20, 15, 20 dollars and up for an SD card. At least put it in a bubble wrap, because this isn't bubble. Not by any chance of the imagination. This is not a bubble. At least this one came in a bubble wrapping. See? This, nothing. No protection. Hopefully it's still good. You know? I'm hoping it's legit, too, because a lot of times you buy off Amazon and eBay, they're not legit. Uh, do 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 this should be the 64 gig, and it is, see that, no padding whatsoever. And we have the 64 gig. This is more for the Duo. This is what I originally wanted to use for the Duo. So I'll be doing that in a little bit, uh, transferring that stuff over. Here's another package from Bruce Lynn, I think his name is. But anyway, we'll open up and see what this is. Uh, I have no idea what this could be. Wait, I, I think I do. Never mind. It's another SD card. This is the 256 gig micro SD. That's for the... No, I'm sorry, not 256. Oh, yeah, this is for the Turbo EverDrive. That's right, I already got the one in for the MSX... S mx4 sio this is considered amazon packaging and it literally is just this just plain ass envelope with this so at least i know this one's legit so this is 256 gigs this should be plenty enough for the turbo because i took the size down before i um i usually for flash cards for anything like that i have an external hard, i have a bunch of external hard drives so what i do is I set up the SD card on the hard drive. It takes up a lot of space, but at least you'll know then what you need because you just go um, not size on disk, the one above it, because it does that because the hard drive's fragmented. But once it goes in the SD card, so see, you see like size on disk, like five, four or five hundred gigs or whatever. Don't be alarmed because, uh, especially with EXFAT, that's what happens because it, it's fragmented. It's all over the place, but when you put on the SD card, it'll be the proper size. Now, I based off my CDs off the US version, so the only Japanese ones that are on there are ones that are exclusively Japanese. So cutting it down like that, putting the entire Hue card and Super Graphics library on, it's around 218 gigs. So this is plenty for that. So Planning on getting a Turbo EverDrive Pro, you want to play everything, this is what you're going to need. And by the way, um, they actually recommend SanDisk for the, Cricks himself recommends SanDisk for his products. Now, these two are the big ones. 
First, let's unbox this. This is all the way from England. I'm sure you probably read what it is already, and I hate these paper envelopes. I can tell already that this is going to be one of those. Ugh, Jesus, fuck. And it is the Mem Card Pro 2. Now we're going to be looking into this um, in another video because I got a PS2, got the MSXIO, so I'll be teaching you how to get into PSX. I mean, the PlayStation 2. So I know there's videos on that, but some of those are really, really outdated. I can't lie if some of my videos are too, but you know, at least I try. How the fuck do you get this open now? Because I don't want to cut, cut, because there's a piece of paper right there. I think that's, like, the firmware and shit. Got that. I generally like the 8-Bit Mods products. It's just sometimes they have a problem with availability. So this is the Memcard Pro 2. Here is the back. You got the manual right there. Now, there is a lot of shit that this can do, and I will get into that once I actually talk to you about the memory card. Oh, it's a compliance thing, whatever. But this card, now they've done ones for the PS1, they've done them for the GameCube. I gotta get another GameCube one. I'm, probably, I'm planning on doing a video on the GameCube, especially when Flippy Drive comes out. I got the standard black one because I wanted a black slim, so it, this will match. I would have liked to have the clear, but they didn't have it, so I'm pretty much stuck with this. I hope that's not a bad thing. The marks on the back there. Of course, this is for the, this is the reason why I got the 16 gig card right here for this, and you got the uh, USB right there. I'll only go to a full overview when I do the review of it. But there's a lot of features. This is probably the most complicated one they've ever done. And this is literally essential. Now, usually with mods, they're not so much essential. Like, they're only good if you hack the system or whatever. Even if you have a legitimate system, this is good. Because it could read the game disc IDs off legitimate games now. But if you're ever planning on using... This on a, if you're playing on playing PlayStation 2 games on a PS3, like if you have a back backwards compatible unit, you can literally put your saves on here on a PS2. Use this as an adapter, and if, as use this as like the official Sony adapter that copies PS1 and PS2 memory memory cards to your PS3. And those things officially are expensive now; they're like 80, 90 bucks. This one, 30 bucks cheaper and gets the same job done with a recent firmware update. I uh, don't know if I'm going to be showing that part of it right away. Because right now I don't have a PS3. I need to get one, for, especially for region free. But I will show that one day. Just right now, things are a little tight around here. Because I get a new computer to bring you guys the, these kind of videos. So I'm a little bit tight. This is one... That I've been waiting for. Now remember when I said. That. How do I explain it? When I said all the difficulties that I've had. With getting that super graphics collection here. And I told the guy about it. He offered to send me a CD game. Of my choosing. Which was great because. You know. I wanted a CD game to try out. So he sent me one. And here we go. And more peanuts. Ugh. Get these fucking peanuts out of here. Fuck you. Anyway. You can see what you can see already what it is. Send a couple looks like he sent along a couple other things too. So let's see what that is. Are you having fun yet? Uh handheld unboxing or obsession or whatever the fuck your name is? Having fun yet? Because I heard you like these kind of things. You like Unboxing stuff. Oh, wait. He sent a whole bunch of stuff. All right. Oh, okay. What the fuck is this? Why is, why is there two of these? Oh, 
Rondo of Blood. I think this is an English version. Holy shit. Okay. So this is the English version because it says Turbo Graphics right here. And, it, and of course, like his, like Tobias's and PC Works other discs, they are factory pressed. That is fucking cool. Okay, that's badass. So basically, what the one of the obviously it's fucking Dracula X, by the way. So I forgot I got to do it like this. So basically, he sent me the English Turbo Duo disc as well. Come on, come out of here. But yeah, this is this is badass that he actually sent me one of these along with it. I was just expecting just the regular disc, but he actually sent me this too. That's cool. Thanks a lot, man. Okay, I'll get to you later, but let's see what's in the package. Because I'm seeing the package for the first time as you guys are. More postcards. I like this one. I wish there was like an artwork of that. I like this one better because it has the darker background. His catalogs. I got to get Magical Chase one time. But he also sent this too. I guess this is the freebie going forward. Final Match Tennis. So I technically have three of these freebie discs that he does. Because um, that Yuna disc I tried is one of them. By the way, don't, I know the fingerprint. Don't worry about it because a lot of the data is on the inside. Here's Final Match Tennis. I think this is um, English as well. That one's a little thicker. But this is the main event. This is literally... You've seen what, what he gets for the Hue cards. Now let's check out what he does for discs. This is a full release of his. This isn't one of the... The cardboard things you get for free. This is one you actually pay for. This is usually goes for, I think, 59 euro, I want to say. So I don't know what that is in US. But it's packed like a factory release. Just like the super graphic stuff. But this is CD. So we have the Super CD-ROM of, Drac of Dracula X. It's got the OB on the side here in the back. It's got the regular print. Now you've seen when I did the turbo, when I did the analog duo, that I made my own repro. But the reason I chose this as my free CD game from him, because I was going to get it anyway, was because I do plan on one day getting the box sets from him. And this was the only CD that I wanted from him that wasn't available in a box set that I wanted. I do plan on getting some of the PC memory sets. But all the other CDs I wanted from him are in those sets. This is the only one that I wanted that was standalone. Everything else is in those sets. So I said, fuck it. Let me use this opportunity to get Dracula X. And this dude, this buddy of mine, he was like, oh, well, why didn't you get Sapphire? I'm like, Sapphire's in a arcade card set. Why the fuck would I do that? So I have two copies. Of course he would say that. Why, why else? All right, this is the Obi. This is the full, I'm doing it both ways because I don't, I forget which way the camera is pointed. So you open it up. Here's the Japanese disc. And it literally looks like Konami made it themselves. And of course it's got the white thing there for the PC Engine CD. And as with all of PCE Works releases, they have a full color manual. What the hell? Oh, it also comes with a registration card for the game. It comes with a repro of that too, which is cool. This is the repro. This is the Konami registration card. So that's cool too. But you see, it's full color for the manual. Great print quality. And of course, this is. Oh, let me put the warranty card back in here. But yeah, so. One of these days I have to put up the duo and see if it works. I'll probably make a side video for that. Or like a sh one of these YouTube shorts that everybody seems to love to do nowadays. I'm going to put the OB in here to protect it. And that's Dracula X. I'm really impressed with the quality. I love it. 
Like, honestly, the only thing that would be a giveaway that it's a repro is you can tell it's a little tiny bit cloudy, but unless you're really trained to look at it, you're not going to notice it. Otherwise, it looks pretty damn cool. So, this is everything that we got today. SD cards. SD cards plenty. Should open up my own SD card store. One for the Duo, one for the Memcard Pro, which that's why it's on top of here, and one for the upcoming Turbo EverDrive Pro that's supposed to be coming in for review. So there you have it. Stuff, stuff, lots of stuff. Enough stuff to satisfy a while. So, and by the way, a um, few things of note. Hope you like the video, you motherfucker. Anyway... <laughs> Other than talking shit to this fucking guy. Um, a little few things about what's going on. Because now I have a new computer. So hopefully I can get back to making videos. But um, I did try to do a short video explaining what the hell's going on on my Twin Fami channel. And the new channel that I'm on. Long story short, Google Plus is dead. So I have no way of fully recovering or making edits to my channel i don't i've long gotten rid of the phone i used for it so google can't recover god forbid right now i'm lucky enough just to be able to log in and you know delete and download the videos that i made over the years so i'm basically putting all new videos on my on my channel that i made that i actually basically with google plus I had to have a separate, a separate, it's a separate brand for the Twin Family channel. This one, there's no Google Plus. I actually own quote unquote the account, even though I'm literally the only person that used the fucking account. But anyway, long story short, I have a new channel. I'm trying to build that up again with the videos that I did previously because I can't really do much with the old account anymore. So that's why there's videos that are being deleted off that page and going onto the new page. That's why at times you're gonna see all these videos just pop up out of nowhere. But for the net, at least until April, I have one video a week and most of them are stuff that I never got to edit during the pandemic when I was literally dealing with a lot of stuff and also you know, lockdown, I was in a really shitty place. I was in a really dark place. Still am a little bit, but not as much as I was. So, and my stupid ass, there's videos that got deleted because I thought I backed them up, but I didn't. Luckily, the damage wasn't too bad. The only thing that I really lost is the 5200 video that I did and the video of the Xbox and PlayStation launches in 2020, which I'm a little ticked about. It's up on my Instagram, you know, the video, the pictures that I took, but I had full videos. So those are gone forever. But uh, the most important, important stuff to me is backed up when I, ha and it's going to be aired in the next few weeks. The 7800, um, and probably be uploaded by the time you, some of them will probably be uploaded by the time you see this because I'm literally waiting to um, renew my power director with the new computer. So... I've got a brand new 7800 video. I, I I was able to what I was able to unbox a new 7800, a new Jaguar. I was able to unbox a I was able to set up I had briefly because it was too bulky to keep um a CDI. So much stuff that I had and unfortunately I had to sell a lot of them to pay bills down because Bills and expenses caught up with us during the pandemic. Um, but I'm starting to rebuild now, slowly but surely. And it's a good time for to be a retro gamer because there's so much stuff. I mean, look at this. You got a fucking inf literally infinite memory card that could be used on a PS1 and PS2. And the biggest thing with this, obviously, you could use free McBoot on here. You don't need to have burn CDs and... You know, mod your console no more. You could literally put two memory cards in your PS2 and you're good to go. You know, there's so much stuff available and so much stuff coming. 
that it's a great time to be a retro gamer. And I know the snobs will get mad because now their collections aren't as valuable as they used to be. But fuck you. These games are meant to be played. You know, there's so much stuff coming. And I, I can't wait to re redo the GameCube. That's going to be a lot of fun because you got the Flippy Drive coming out. You know, you already have the blue retro adapter, and that's another video I think that got lost. I'm not sure. But there's so much stuff for the GameCube. There's so much stuff for the PlayStation 1 and 2. You got Mister. You got Analog. Just a cornucopia of stuff that, even though, yes, it sucks that I had to get rid of a lot of this shit that I did, that I acquired during the pandemic with stimulus checks and all this shit. It's a blessing that I'm able to get them back now. Yeah, who knows if I'll ever be able to get another Jaguar again at the prices they're going for. But at least I know the game drives out. Um, if I want to play in the links, I can do that with the analog pocket. Just so many things that are available, especially the CDI. There is Bluetooth controllers for the CDI. So you don't have to worry about finding controllers for that. Some people are working on ODEs for it. It's just... I'm hoping. Really, really fucking hoping to show you a lot of this cool shit. Because I'm so excited for a lot of this stuff. And I hope you guys will join me. Whether I do get it. Whether I don't get it. Um, I hate to be cliche. I hate to say that same shit that all these other YouTubers say. Because I'm not really doing this to be a YouTuber. I'm just doing it to more... So cool shit. Have you guys hang out with me for a little bit. Maybe, you know, you're like me. You're neurodivergent. Or, you know, you're autistic. And you need that background noise sometimes. To get you to calm down. Or, you know, just to keep you company in those days. And I hope to be that voice. Like a lot of these other videos on YouTube are to me. So. Just. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Um. But most importantly, just have fun with me. That's it. Just just be cool. Just have fun. Because there's enough bullshit going on in the world right now. So that's literally what I want to say. And um, I'm on my socials. You know, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. Not X. Twitter. Um, blue, you know, Blue Sky I'm on. Very rarely. I'm on Threads. Pretty much any social media you could use the you know little miss kitten and you'll find me so feel free to reach out you know just doesn't matter if you're struggling or whatever just reach out just don't be a dick because i gotta deal with a lot of dicks you know that's unfortunately what happens when you're trans you gotta deal with a lot of assholes but for now i'm gonna try to clean this stuff up i still gotta go cook dinner I went all afternoon to the doctor setting up this new computer. I'm just fucking tired. So I hope to see you guys down the line.